What comes to mind when I say the word Pokemon? <laughs> is it cute, adorable Pokemon? Or is it more creepy and disturbing? Well, when I think about Pokemon, I think about the disturbing things, the disturbing factors, and, and the creepy things in Pokemon. And none more creepy than the Pokedex entries. So today, on the 5th day of Poke Week, we will be talking about Pokemon entries. Pokemon and the Pokedex entries. So, before we begin, if you are, uh, I wouldn't really say squeamish, but if you are uncomfortable with, uh, uh, how do I say this, with a few things in Pokemon, I mean, hey, if you do not like Pokemon, please exit the video. If you are afraid of like creepy things like ghosts and stuff, please exit the video. But if you're one of those people like me who like, who, who speculate about these things, you know, just, just please stick around while I journey into 15 disturbing Pokedex entries. So, please enjoy the show. Number 15, Kadabra. Now, Kadabra. A psychic type Pokemon. What's so creepy about that? Well, if you must know, Kadabra's fire red Pokedex entry says it happened one morning. A boy with extrasensory powers awoke in bed, transformed into Kadabra. So, a boy with ESP. Waking up into Kadabra. Now, that's number 15 on the list. So, not that creepy, but maybe it is. I mean, obviously it is. Because, say, say if I were, say if I were that boy with ESP, I just woke up, transformed to Kadabra. I would, I would actually be, I'd be pretty okay with it, but everybody else would be shocked. Well, how's about we go into more darker realms? Another psychic type, Drowsy. Now, if you do not know Drowsy, he's based off a of tape here. And a Japanese legend or a Japanese myth that Drowsy, or not just Drowsy, what Drowsy is based off, comes to you in your sleep and eats your dreams out. And that is exactly what Drowsy does. It remembers every dream it eats. It rarely eats dreams of adults because children's are much tastier. So, say if you were that, say if you're little Johnny going to sleep, everything's okay, and then you hear, and then you just, you just like have a scratch on your nose and stuff, or like you feel something on, you feel something on you. That's no sleep paralysis. Well, maybe it is. Or maybe it's a drowsy eating your dreams. Think about that next time you go to sleep. Now, how's about we get into some ghost type Pokemon? Number 13 is Lantern. A Lampet. Excuse me. The spirit it absorbs fuels its baleful fire. It hangs around hospitals waiting for people to pass on. Now, if that's not creepy, I don't know what is. Waiting at hospitals for people to pass away and then absorbing the spirits. 
for its fire. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say about that. I guess he uses it as coal. So like his 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 body is is a, is a train, and then the coal is the spirits it absorbs. <laughs> How's about your mask? Your mask is a little sad, but also creepy. Each of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. So, it used to be human. So Pokemon, so some Pokemon like your mask are human, but then they die and turn into Pokemon. Maybe that's what ghost types are. Dead, dead Pokemon trainers, or just dead humans. <laughs> How's about we go under the sea? And I'm not making, and I may be making a little mermaid reference. There's nothing to laugh about. Because we're going under the sea to Gorbis. The water type Pokemon. Although Gorbis is pretty. Sorry. Although Gorbis is the picture of elegance and beauty while swimming, it is also very cruel. When it spots prey, this Pokemon inserts its thin mouth into the prey's body and drains the body fluids. So it is like a mosquito putting his thin mouth into somewhere into the Pokemon, into the person's body and then just draining their body fluids. Well, I don't know what to say about that. How's about another ghost type? How's about we go get ourselves a free balloon? on free balloon day. If you see this Pokemon, just, if you see this balloon anywhere, do not hang on to it, because you will disappear. This Pokemon is Drifloon. It is whispered that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a Pokemon and holds on to it could wind up missing. And here's another Pokedex entry. These spirits are called the, the signposts for wandering spirits. Children holding them sometimes vanish. <laughs> so, do you want that balloon? How about we go into the desert? One of the biggest places on land is the Sahara Desert, I believe. And how's about if you see some cacturns following you? You do not want to be in a desert at night especially with these Pokemon around. If a traveler is going through the desert in the thick of night, Cacton will follow in a ragtag group. These Pokemon are biding their time, waiting for the traveler to tire and become incapable of moving. So what will they do? Kill you? I don't know. They never... They never explain. So next time you're going to the desert, please, go in a group. Never go alone. How's about we go into first gen with, with the first ghost type Pokemon? The Ghastly, Hunter and Gengar line. But let's just focus on Haunter. <laughs> it's, 
Is Pokemon silver? Entry says. Its tongue is made of gas. If licked, the victim shakes constantly until death eventually comes. So, what about in the Pokemon theme song? When Hunter licks Charmander. Bye bye Charmander. As about we go to another ghost type, this time from third gen. Bennett. Have you ever had have you ever had a doll that you loved so much as a kid? You always take you, you would take it everywhere? Cause I know I have. And then one day you grew older and then just threw it or give it or threw it away? Well, if this if the star was Bennett, he'd come for you. Because his Pokemon Emerald, entry says, an abandoned plush star became this Pokemon. They are said to live in garbage dumps and wander around in search of the children who threw them away. And also that they have a grudge against the person who threw them away. And once found, they're dead. How's about another ghost type from third gen? Dusclops. Dusclops body is completely hollow. There is nothing at all inside. It is said that its body is like a black hole. This Pokemon will absorb anything into its body. Whatever it whatever it absorbs, never comes out. <laughs> so, if you were if you were absorbed, you'd never return. How's about a sword? Yes, a sword. For those of you who do not know. In Pokemon X and Y, there is a sword Pokemon. A ghost steel type. So another ghost. Yes. If Pokemon Y entry states, if anyone grabs if anyone dare grabs it by the hilt, it wraps a blue cloth around that person's arm and drains the person's life completely. So if you were to hold it like Link, it would wrap itself around you and slowly take your life until you were nothing until you were dead <laughs> so do you want to be like Link? how's about we go on to the forest the forest a peaceful and calming place yet also very spooky. That's why we go on to Phantom. According to all tales, these Pokemon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died or lost in the forest. So, dead trainers or dead children lost in the forest became Phantom. And there is something about Phantom that I do want to mention before we move on. For those of you who do not know, Japan is an amazing place, yet also there is this place at the bottom of at the mount of at the bottom of Mount Fuji called Aiko Gahara which translates to Suicide Forest. Phantom was based off the people who committed suicide there. I do not know why it's there, but every year they find around 200 bodies 
So, I don't know. And they're usually lost because of how big it is. But now, we move on to number three. Gorgeist, the pumpkin Pokemon. It enwraps its prey in its hair-like arms. It sings joyfully as it observes the suffering of its prey. Hmm. So, it grabs you, sings, and kills you. <laughs> so, we move on to number two. Eviatol. I never knew how to pronounce that Pokemon's name. Eveltol. There we go. When it when its life comes to an end, it absorbs the life energy of every living thing and turns into a cocoon once more. And it lives for a thousand years. For one thousand years. So once that 1,000 years is over, it kills everything. Along with it. <laughs> now we move on to number one. Hypno. Hypno is a evolved form of drowsy. Actually, no. Number one is tied. In my opinion, number one is tied for one of the creepiest Pokedex entries ever. Hypno and Cubone. For those of you who don't know, the Cubone story. Cubone's mother, Marwak, was killed by Team Rocket. And then, that's why, that's why in Lavender Town, you see a Marwak ghost at the top of Lavender Tower. You have to calm it down before it lets you go up to the tower to save Mr. Fuji. But Cubone wears the skull of its dead mother. If you did not know that, well, now you know. <laughs> and Hypno. Hypno, the evolved form of Jazzy, the evolved form of the Dream Eater. Well, he kidnaps children. For those of you who do not know, Hypno kidnaps, kidnaps children. There is even a creepypasta based on it called Hypno's Lullaby. Would you like me to read it? If you want me to read it, I will. But not in this video. Hypno's Fire Red Pokédex entry states that it, that it took away a girl. That it took away a little girl or a little child. It hypnotized. So Hypno is scary. If you ever see a Hypno, please run. So, if you want Hypno's real Pokédex entry, well, uh, here it is. Let me t let me tell you all his Pokédex entries and how creepy he is. Starting with Pokémon Red and Blue. When it locks eyes with an enemy, it will use a mix of PSI moves such as hypnosis and confusion. Doesn't sound that bad. No, no it doesn't. How's about in Pokemon Yellow? Avoid eye contact. If you come across one, it will try and put you to sleep with its pendulum. So remember that, avoid eye contact.
is Pokemon Gold. Entry says, when it is very hungry, it will put a human t t it meets to sleep, then feasts on its dreams. So he's got a little bit of drowsy in him. Well, obviously, he is the evolved form. How's about... Yeah, how's about it's Pokemon Fire Red entry? I'm not going through all the entries. You can you can look it up yourself. It carries a pendulum-like device. There was once an incident where it took away a little child. It hypnotized. <laughs> so, how's that for how's that for the night? Remember these Pokédex entries before you go to sleep? <laughs> yeah. So, that is the end of the video. If you guys liked it, please like, comment, subscribe. If you guys did not like it, you can dislike, comment, and not subscribe, I guess. Well, if you want to see more, if you want to see more videos like this, let's try and hit. Or, no. Let's not, let's not do a like call. If you want to see more videos like this, please tell me in the comments below. And I will make more videos like this. And remember, two more days until Poke Week is over. Two more videos. Thursday's video and Friday's video are both amazing. So, see you guys next time. You can also, oh yeah, before I go, you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. The links are in the description below. So, without further ado, goodbye.